Governments are always being told not to go this way. In fact, one of their own select committees back in 1974 strongly warned them, stating, since no productivity is involved in gambling, it fosters attitudes which are not truly consistent with the spirit of nation building. 1974, anyone know when that was? One year after independence. This is not consistent with the spirit of nation building. It helps to perpetrate the social state of those who are, perpetuate, sorry, the social state of those who are in the already vicious cycle at the lower end of the socioeconomic pole. Hence, every effort should be made by the enforcement agencies of the Bahamas to stamp out that type of lottery known as a numbers racket that has taken root in our society. The preamble to our constitution is on our side. It is our mission statement. Please, wherever we are, whoever we're talking to, say that, say that. It states that we believe, we believe that the preservation of our freedoms will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. There's no industry in gambling. There's no self-discipline in gambling. There's no loyalty in gambling. There's no unity in gambling. There's no abiding respect for Christian values. And certainly the rule of law is being flaunt flaunted right in our face. So there you see you have a perfect platform to launch your opposition because the Constitution itself in its preamble recognizes an abiding respect for Christian values because the Constitution is interpreted having regard to that preamble. It provides context for the interpretation of individual provisions. And so the preamble is not just fancy words. While you may technically say it, isn't a form, it is not a part of the Constitution, that is not to diminish its importance and its relevance to the construction of the individual provisions of the Constitution. Truth is on our side. Cloud and respect is on our side. The gambling lobby's greatest cry is, I want to gamble. That's selfishness. Our cry is that this is not good for the soul of the nation that we are sworn to protect. Unselfishness. We've got everything on our side. So when you say that the Bible says nothing about gambling, that's incorrect. Because the Bible does say a lot about greed, about avarice, isn't that right? And covetousness. So whenever you see in the Bible where it condemns either avarice, um, greed, or covetousness, you could put there, thou shalt not gamble. In other words, it is impossible to gamble and not sin. It is impossible to gamble and not sin. One cannot gamble without sinning. We're going to pray for forgiveness that God would forgive us of our greed and our covetousness. We're going to pray that God would forgive us of our lawlessness. We're going to pray that God would forgive us for the lack of courage to do that which is right 